Google has been working to iron out all of the battery life issues that many of us have complained about. And in Android 13, they launched a background battery usage tracker for apps that watches to see if an application passes a certain threshold when it comes to how much battery it's using. Sadly, this feature is disabled by default, but I can show you how to enable it with two simple ADB commands. If you don't have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC, then that's okay, as I have a dedicated guide on how to get those files installed on your desktop or laptop. For anyone who does not have a spare computer, I also have a video that shows you how to execute these ADB shell commands directly from the device itself with an application called LADB. Just know that executing these commands directly on the device itself requires a lot more setup compared to doing it on the PC. I have links to both of these tutorials down in the video description below, so pause this video now if you need to set some things up. In this video, I will be showing how to execute these commands from my work computer, but no matter which method you go with, once you have access to the ADB shell, the commands that you execute will be the same. So here is the feature that we're going to be enabling. It is a background battery usage tracker. And you can see it is disabled by default on both Android 13 as well as Android 14. When you're ready to begin, we're going to need to enable USB debugging mode on our smartphone or tablet and then we need to connect that device to the PC with a USB cable. And again, if you're not familiar with what USB debugging mode is or how to enable it, then I'll have a dedicated guide linked for that in the video description as well. If you're, if you're like me and using the PC, you will need to launch a command prompt, a PowerShell, or a terminal window that is in the same directory as your ADB and Fastboot files. Now this command right here is not required if you have already authorized USB debugging mode access from this device. But if you have not, we're going to execute the command ADB space devices and press enter. And again, remember, my phone is connected to the PC with a USB cable. It has USB debugging mode enabled, and I have authorized that access from the PC. And that is why you get this result here from executing the ADB command. If everything is set up correctly, you should be told that the device has been recognized and the serial number for your device will show up here. We're going to execute the command ADB space shell. Now you can see this brings us down to a different prompt here. We go from our PowerShell prompt to our actual ADB shell prompt. And this is where we're going to execute those two commands. So the first command that I have here is telling Android to set a device configuration for the activity manager that enables the background abusive application tracker. So we're going to type all of this out or check the video description below as I'll have both of these commands there so that you can just copy and paste it like I did. Once this first command is typed out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And as long as you don't get an error, as long as it goes back down to a blank ADB shell prompt, then that means you have executed that command correctly. Now, 
Now, with that done, this second command will tell the tracker to automatically restrict apps that abuse your battery life. Remember, Google says this feature will put a restriction on apps that pass a th certain threshold only. So again, either after you have typed this out or after you have pasted it, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And just like before, as long as we do not get an error message and we go back to an ADB shell, then that means the command has been executed correctly. After these two commands have been executed, if the tracker spots an installed application and has flagged it, then it will move that application to a bucket that limits it to one job per day. Technically, this service isn't killing apps at random, but it will limit the amount of battery life that that app can use when it is in the background and not in the foreground. This feature can work wonders if you have hundreds of third-party applications installed. It's usually quite difficult to monitor the quality of your apps when you have so many of them on your device. And this hidden Android battery saver can work wonders without having to figure out which apps are chewing through your battery life and which apps are not.